You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, July the 3rd, 2020. The Yankees and Blue Jays played each other in an AL East matchup. An important series started today as well for these two teams because the Blue Jays entered play just a game back of the Yankees for first place in the AL East. And scoring came at a premium. The Yankees got their only regulation run in the top of the fourth inning. The Blue Jays were able to tie the game in the bottom of the ninth inning. Sent the game to extras. It went to the 11th inning before the Yankees got three runs. And they ended up winning the game 4-1. to one. Each team got nine hits in this game as well, and the Blue Jays committed one error as a team. Tommy Canley got the win out of the bullpen, and Jordan Romano got the loss. AL Central Baseball, and the Indians routed the Twins 15-2. The final score of this game, a couple home runs were hit. Several extra base hits came the Indians' way, and the Twins got their only two runs on a Luis Arias two-run home run in the top of the second inning. Zach Plezak got the win, and Rich Hill got the loss, his third losing decision this season. The Royals blanked the Tigers 5-0, the final score of this game. The Royals started their scoring in the fourth inning. They also put up two runs in the seventh and a run in the eighth inning. Mike Montgomery got the win, and Jordan Zimmerman got the loss. The Rangers beat the White Sox 4-2, the final score of this game, and the Rangers got all four of their runs by the end of the second inning. The White Sox got a run in the third and a run in the seventh, but fell short two runs. Kyle Gibson got the win, Michael Kopech got the loss, and Jose LeClerc earned his 20th save of the season. Interleague play between the Phillies and the Mariners ended with the Mariners winning by two runs, 4-2 to two the final score of this game, though the Phillies out hit the Mariners 9-8. to eight. The Mariners got three of their four runs in the first inning. The Phillies got their first run in the second, and each team scored a run in the eighth. Taiwan Walker got the win, Jake Arrieta got the loss, his 10th losing decision of the year, and Matt McGill now has 20 saves on the year with the Mariners. The Orioles beat the Athletics 7-2, the final score of this game. The Athletics had the lead first. They scored in the bottom of the first inning. Then the Orioles put up three in the top of the seventh inning to take the lead, and then they added a four-run top of the ninth with some insurance. The Athletics scored a run in the bottom of the ninth inning, but they fell short five runs. Alex Cobb got the win, Daniel Mengen got the loss, and Miguel Castro now has three saves on the year. The Angels and Braves played each other in interleague play, and the Angels won 5-3, though this was an evenly matched game. Each team had seven hits, but the Angels came out on top by two runs. Matt Andrees got the win, Mike fulton got the loss, and Hansel Robles earned his 27th save of the season. Rematch of the 2019 World Series. This is the start of a series between the Astros and the Nationals. And the Astros beat the Nationals 2-0, the final score. And the Astros have now won their last four games at Nationals Park. That includes the 2019 World Series. Lance McCullers Jr. got the win. Tanner Rainey got the loss. And Roberto Ozuna now has 28 saves on the season. The Mets and Padres played each other. Another evenly matched game of the ones listed today. The Mets came out on top, though, 6-5, to five, the final score of this game, though each team got 10 hits. Robert Geiselman got the win, Luis Perdomo got the loss, and Edwin Diaz earned his 24th save of the season. The Brewers and Cardinals played each other, NL Central matchup here, and the Brewers came out on top, 6-5, to five, the final score of this game. The Brewers had some early offense, they got five runs after two innings. The Cardinals were chipping away at the Brewers' lead, but they fell short a run in the end. Adrian Hauser got the win, Adam Wainwright got the loss, and Corey Knebel now has five saves on the season. Interleague play between the Red Sox and the Pirates ended with the Red Sox winning 6-4. The Pirates struck first in the bottom of the third inning by scoring a run, but then the Red Sox put up five in the top of the sixth. The Pirates responded with a three-run bottom of the sixth inning to get the game within one. Then the Red Sox put a run up in the top of the ninth inning, and the Pirates could not score in the bottom half, and they lost. Brian Johnson got the win, Joe Musgrove got the loss, and Brandon Workman earned his 26th save of the season. More interleague baseball, the Rays beat the Cubs 6-4, the final score of this game. Ryan Yarbrough got the win, Jose Quintana got the loss, and Nick Anderson now has 25 saves on the year. The Reds beat the Diamondbacks 6-4, the final score of this game, in a heavy offensive matchup. The Reds had 13 hits as compared to the Diamondbacks 12, and the Reds were able to win by two. 
Luis Castillo got the win, Luke Weaver got the loss, and Rizel Iglesias now has 17 saves this season. NL West Baseball was played, and the Giants beat the Rockies by a large amount, 10 to 2. The final score of this game, Drew Smiley got the win, and Kyle Freeland got the loss. And a close game played between the Marlins and the Dodgers. It was mostly scoreless throughout this game, but then the Dodgers were able to walk it off at the very end in the bottom of the ninth inning. Joe Kelly got the win, and Drew Steckenrider got the loss. Let's take a look at standings now, starting in the American League East. The New York Yankees still at the top of this division with a 52-36 and record. The Blue Jays lost to the Yankees today, so they fall a game back of the Yankees, now two games back of the division lead with a 50-38 and record. The Rays are 44-46, and nine games back. The Red Sox also nine games back, but with a 43-45 and record in fourth place. And the Orioles are 37-52, and 15 and a half games back. In the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins lost to the Indians today, but they still have the best record in baseball. 61-28 is their record, and they still lead this division. The White Sox are nine games back after losing today. They're 52-37, and still in second place. The Indians move a game up, though, on both the White Sox and the Twins. The Indians now two games back of the White Sox for second place and 11 games back of the Twins for first place, and they got their 50th win today against the Twins. They're 50-39. The Tigers, 34 and 54, they lost to the Royals today. They've now lost four games in a row. They're 26 and a half games back of the division lead. And the Royals are 31 and 57. They beat the Tigers today, but they're still in last place, 29 and a half games back of first place. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics still lead, though they lost today. They're 54 and 35. The Astros beat the Nationals today, moving their winning streak to three games. They're 50 and 37, three games back of the division lead. The Angels are 43 and 45 after beating the Braves today. They're 10 and a half games back. The Rangers 37 and 52. They're 17 games back. And the Mariners 31 and 58, 23 games back. Each American League West team minus the Athletics won today, so every team gained a game on the A's. And here are the wild card standings. The White Sox still have the top spot with a 52 and 37 record. They've lost two in a row, though. The Astros have won three in a row, so they've gained some ground on the White Sox. Their record's 50 and 37. The Blue Jays, a half game back of a wild card spot now, pushed out by the Astros. They're 50 and 38, a half game back. The Indians are 50 and 39, one full game back of a wild card spot. And every other American League team has a winning percentage under 500 and is at least seven and a half games back of a wild card spot. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals still lead, though they lost to the Astros most recently, which makes them have a three-game losing streak, but they're still at the top of this division. The Marlins, 47-41. and 41. They've been rather hot recently, though everybody in the National League East has been actually more cold than not recently, so the Marlins just gaining more ground in the division because of all the losses. They're three and a half games back in the Nationals. The Braves have lost two in a row. They lost to the Angels today. They're 46-42, and 42, four and a half games back. The Phillies have fallen to where the Mets are. The Phillies and the Mets are each 41 and 47. Each team is nine and a half games back. The Mets haven't been out of last place since late April, early May. And now the Phillies have fallen to the Mets level. The Mets, however, have been on a hot streak recently. You see, they've won eight of their last 10 games. So we'll see how this unfolds at the bottom of the division. In the National League Central, the St. Louis Cardinals still lead with a 51 and 38 record. The Cubs 45 and 44 they lost today and they're losing ground on their 500 winning percentage. They're just over a 500 winning percentage now and 6 games back of the Cardinals for first place. The Brewers are 42 and 45, 8 games back. The Reds 36 and 53, 15 games back and the Pirates have lost 3 games in a row. They're 32 and 55, 18 games back of the division lead. And in the National League West, the Los Angeles Dodgers, 61-28. and One of the best records in Major League Baseball, and they're still at the top of this division. They've also won eight of their last ten games. The Diamondbacks, staying relatively hot, though they lost to the Reds today. But they're still in second place in this division with a 49-39 and record, 11 and a half games back. The Padres, 45-43, and 15 and a half games back. They've lost eight of their last ten games. The Rockies are 35 and 52, 25 games back, and the Giants have won two games in a row. They're 34 and 54 now, 26 and a half games back of the division lead. And here are the wild card standings in the NL. The Diamondbacks have the top spot with a 49 and 39 record. The Marlins 
at the second spot with a 47 and 41 record. The Braves a game out, 56 or excuse me, 46 and 42 is their record. The Padres 45 and 43, two games back. The Cubs 45 and 44, two and a half games back. And every other team in the National League has a winning percentage under 500 and is at least four and a half games back of a wild card spot. And taking a look at league leaders, starting with batting average leaders in the American League. Miguel Cabrera put on a multi-hit performance against the Royals today, which bumped his average up to 337, so he reclaims the best spot in this category. Miguel Andujar behind him, second best, 333 average he has, and Chris Davis third best with a 332 average. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt still at the top of the 357 average. Jonathan VR four points behind him though with a 353 average, and Christian Yelich third best with a 340. Hits leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar leads with 121. J.D. Martinez second best with 116. He passed D.J. LeMay, who, who is now third best with 115 hits. In the National League, Jonathan VR has 131 hits. Paul Goldschmidt second best with 115. And Ronald Acuna Jr. third best with 107. At bat leaders in the American League, Jose Abreu has the most with 365. In the National League, Jonathan VR has the most with 371. Doubles leaders in the American League, Anthony Rendon has the most with 33, Whit Merrifield second best with 28, and Jose Abreu third best with 27. In the National League, Jonathan Villar is the most with 40, nine behind him is Christian Yelich with 31, Nicholas Castellanos, Trey Turner, and Cattell Marte all tied for third best with 26. Triples leaders in the American League, Adalberto Mondesi has the most with seven, Jose Altuve second best with six, Adam Eaton, Steven Piscotti, and Whit Merrifield all tied for third best with five. In the National League, Jonathan Villar is the most with 11. Victor Robles, second best with 7. Cody Bellinger, Hunter Pence, and Chris Bryant are all tied for third best with 5. Home run leaders in the American League, Justin Upton. Homer against the Braves today, pushing his league-leading total up to 32. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., second best with 27. And Chris Davis and J.D. Martinez are tied for third best with 26. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. still leads with 31. Paul Goldschmidt now behind him, though, with 30, just one behind him. And Jock Peterson is third best with 24. RBI leaders in the American League, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is at 83. Nine behind him, Chris Davis with 74. And Nelson Cruz rounds up the top three with 71. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has the most with 84, and it's not close. Christian Yelich and Cody Bellinger, each the next best, with 67. Run scored leaders in the American League, J.D. Martinez has the most with 67. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has the most with 74. Stolen base leaders in the American League, Adalberto Mondesi the leader with 20. D. E. Gordon at 19 and Malik Smith is at 18. In the National League, Starling Marte has 31 behind him, Trey Turner with 29 and Jonathan Villar third best with 22. Walks leaders in the American League, Alex Bregman has 57, which is the most in the AL. In the National League, Reese Hoskins has the most with 62. On base percentage leaders in the American League, Chris Davis has the highest with a 417. One point behind him is Alex Bregman with a 416, and two points behind Bregman is Carlos Santana with a 414. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has the highest with a 450. Christian Yelich the next best with a 443, and Ronald Acuna Jr. third best with a 422. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson has the highest with a 632. Justin Upton second best with a 627, and Chris Davis third best with a 623. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has the highest with a 720, but Ronald Acuna Jr. on his level now, slightly less than Goldschmidt's, but still at a 720, and Christian Yelich is third best with a 660. OPS leaders in the American League, Chris Davis 1.040, Josh Donaldson's at a 1.037, and J.D. Martinez third best with a 1.019. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has the highest with a 1.171, Ronald Acuna Jr. the next best with a 1.141, and Christian Yelich rounds up the top three with a 1.103. Moving on to pitcher leaderboards, starting with wins leaders in the American League, Kenta Maeda, Hyunjin Ryu, and Jake Odorizzi all tied for the league best 10 wins this season so far. In the National League, Walker Buehler is up to 12 wins now. Steven Strasburg, the next best with 10. Madison Bumgarner, David Price, and Jimmy Nelson all tied for third best with 9. Losses leaders in the American League, Chris Bassett and Kenta Maeda have the least amount of losses because they haven't lost a game yet on the mound this year. In the National League, Carlos Martinez has the least amount of losses with 1. 
Saves leaders in the American League. Liam Hendricks has the most with 31. Brad Hand second best with 30. And Roberto Ozuna third best with 28. In the National League, Craig Kimbrell, Giovanni Gallegos, and Kenley Jansen all tied for the top spot with 30. ERA leaders in the American League. Jake Odorizzi's at a 248. Kenta Maeda, the next best with a 249. And Aaron Savali, third best with a 272. In the National League, Marcus Stroman still has the lowest ERA. Under two, it's at a 189. Walker Bueller, the next best with a 217. And Steven Strasburg rounds out the top three with a 237. Home runs allowed among American League pitchers. Gio Gonzalez. Has the least amount allowed with seven in the National League. Robbie Ray and Marcus Stroman tied for the least amount allowed with six. Shutout leaders in the American League. Garrett Cole and Monsiero Tanaka each have three shutouts this year. Jacob DeRizzi third best with two. In the National League, Jacob DeGrom's up to four complete game shutouts this year, while everybody else isn't even at three yet. But Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, Merrill Kelly, and Walker Bueller each have two. Strikeout leaders in the American League, Garrett Cole at 152, Lucas Giolito second best with 138, and Jacob DeRizzi third best with 127. In the National League, Steven Strasburg's at 148, Clayton Kershaw the next best with 144, and Robbie Ray third best with 133. Complete games thrown among American League pitchers, Garrett Cole and Masahiro Tanaka each have thrown three complete games this year, Jacob DeRizzi and Aaron Savali tied for third best with two complete games thrown on the year. National League complete games. Jacob DeGrom's at four. Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler tied for second best with three. Innings pitch leaders in the American League. Hyunjin Ryu has 121 innings thrown. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw and Aaron Nola each have thrown 124 innings this year. Blocks allowed among American League pitchers. Carlos Carrasco's allowed the least amount with 19. In the National League, Brett Anderson's allowed the least amount with 23. Whip leaders in the American League. Jake Odorizzi has the lowest with a 107. Carlos Carrasco's at a 109, as is Dylan Bundy. That's the top three on this list. And in the National League, Aaron Nola has the lowest with a 101. Marcus Stroman, the next best with a 102. And Clayton Kershaw, third lowest with a 105. Pitching war leaders in the American League. Shane Bieber's at a 2.9. Jake Odorizzi, the next best with a 2.8. And Carlos Carrasco, third best with a 2.7. In the National League, Jacob DeGrom has the highest with a 3-2. Steven Strasburg, second best with a 3-1. And Robbie Ray, third best with a 2-9. Batting war leaders in the American League. Marcus Semien has the highest with a 5-3. Jan Moncada, second best with a 5-1. And Alex Bregman, third best with a 4-8. And in the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. is at a 6-5. Christian Yelich, the next best with a 6-1. And Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with a 5-7. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Friday, July the 3rd, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.